How many websites have you visited? And finally, you've decided that one of them will be your own. Welcome to the world of web design. In this first chapter, we'll just be exploring and touching on some basic user interface and visual design principles. Many of the things we'll talk about in this chapter, you already know, but we'll go over them again in terms of how to use that information to put together the best website. Before beginning designing a website, you have to ask yourself two questions. The first, who is your audience? Are you developing your website for your students or their parents or you? The second question to ask yourself before designing your website is what is the main purpose of your website? Are you presenting the homework assignment of the day to your students? Are you showcasing student work for their parents? Or are you keeping track of professional development achievements for yourself? Think about this before you move on and keep it in mind as you develop your website. One of the first things we talk about in this chapter is layout. How different components of our website are arranged. There are typical website components like logo, navigation bars, menus, and contact information that are found in similar locations regardless of what website you're visiting. And you wanna take advantage of this when you're designing your own website. This is discussed more in the chapter. The next thing we cover in the chapter is navigation. How will people find what they're looking for? There are various ways to do this and we'll present a couple examples in the chapter, but you can utilize whichever one you feel works best on your website. A few examples are tabs, drop-down menus, and scrolling. These can be used together or individually. We also touch on visual design in this chapter, the use of white space, icons, lines, shapes, colors and contrast, and typography rules. Just some best practices. Again, you know a lot of this from visiting different websites. You can use that prior knowledge when developing your own. To begin developing a great website, you have to pay attention to your audience and your purpose. You wanna utilize typical layout structures to make your website really user-friendly for any audience. Use clear and easy navigation so that your users can find what they're looking for. Utilize simple and uncluttered visual design strategies to make your website look good, but still serve its purpose. Using the best practices discussed in this chapter, you can do it. You can design your own website. Good luck.